Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, what time is it? Time for you to get some better alarm clock apps. Plus, iPads in the wild, celebrity edition, fitness success stories, and angrier birds. All that plus a bag of app caps on iPad Today. iPad Today is brought to you by Carbonite. Backing up the files on your PC or Mac is safe and easy with Carbonite. For a free trial plus two free months with purchase, go to Carbonite.com. Offer code iPad Today. And by Hover.com. Hover is domain name registration and management that's simple. For 10% off your new domain or a new .me domain for only $5 for the first year, go to iPadToday.Hover.com. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Sarah Lane. I'm Leo Laporte, and it's time to talk pads. Pads! Episode 14. Episode 14. 14. We were thinking of doing the whole show in our high school Spanish next week. Yeah. for uh, It's it's our quinceañera. Oh, it is. That's, well, it will be. Yeah. yeah. So we should, we should have... A big uh, party, a lot yeah. of lace. Yeah, wear a nice big lace dress. Uh, some cake, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. In fact, I have some pumpkin pie here. We have delicious pie. You know, we do this show uh, after lunch every Thursday. You yeah. can watch us do it live. Uh, I yes. think sometimes I think the live part's actually better than the show. <laughs> right, it's certainly we, sillier. We cut out all, the, <laughs> we cut out the, all the bad, the stuff. nutty parts that weren't uh, yeah. supposed to be in there. But we do. We're supposed to be doing this uh, around o'clock, around one thirty uh, yeah. in the afternoon on uh, Thursdays or four thirty uh, Eastern time. You can pretty much guarantee that if you if you actually tune in at one thirty, you'll get about fifteen minutes of gobbledygook. Yeah. But it, you know, depending on the kind of person you are, you might like that. You learn a little bit about us. Sarah and I are like old cars. We've got to warm up for a while before we're ready to roll. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes uh, we putter out. (laughs) Speak for yourself. (laughs) Actually, I am the king of puttering out. (laughs) Uh, What are we talking about today? This is actually a strange uh, show today. Yeah, it's a strange show, and it's going to start off with a strange theme, but we're doing it because so many of you begged and pleaded and threw fits and tantrums that you wanted to talk about Clock apps, what? specifically alarm clocks. So today we're giving you what you want. It's clock apps. You're going to take a $500 plus item and turn it into a clock. It's weird. Uh, every once in a while, uh, I'll, I'll get a request. Yeah, you know, how about some alarm clock apps? And I'll put them in my little app folder. Like, yeah, this is something to revisit. But I think, well, I don't know. It seems a little specific. And then I start noticing that a lot of people are asking for it. It's not uh, the same right. person every time. This is this is not. This actually, I would pay. $500 for this app. Our first clock app is called the Emerald Observatory. And kudos to Andy Anako who found this thing. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, baby. This thing, uh, first of all, you know, it's got the day and the date at the bottom, but it's got so much more. If you see here, this is one of those world, uh, you know, where it's dark, where it's light. Oh, yeah, I love thing. that. Remember that used to cost like, that, that that kind of clock used to cost thousands of dollars. I used to it? have a clock just like this on my wall, and yeah. it was very original and you, it's hard to find yeah uh this has i mean i don't even know what all this stuff see here's uh the, where the planets are mars venus mercury in this outer lo- thing here here's the utc clock so i now know finally oh so when i ask you off the cuff it's right now it's 2100 okay utc see that's cool here's solar time what's that mean I don't know. It's one o'clock solar time. And here's sidereal time, which is actual, our time. It's solar time somewhere. Drink up, everybody. I don't know what that, I, I don't know. Here is the equation of time. You can't, you know, you tap it, nothing happens, so I don't know. This, uh, we know the year is 2010. This is a, a year clock that goes, it's a 400-year year clock. Actually, no, this is a millennium clock. Whoa. Uh, I, you know, it's just silly, but it's fun. It doesn't do much. Well, it's also it's also actually a clock. It's a clock. Some people it, don't like a digital display, so this is. I mean, this is as as beautiful and kind of old school as you can get, yeah, but with can, with everything. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I just love. And it I shows just, you uh, the, the the appearance of the moon. There's the mo- the phase of the moon. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just love this part when you first turn it on. It just goes. Ooh, that's a good time. I whizz. love it. So this is Emerald Observatory. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, what is it? It's not very expensive. I think it's... Uh, it's it's uh, 99 cents, actually. Yeah. So, I mean, I think just for the beauty of it alone, this is a this is a great clock. And it, I think it has an alarm, but I don't know. It's kind of got... I you can't know, figure if, it out. If you look at the face, too, it's it's got the zodiac signs. I mean, it's yeah. it's kind of got everything. I mean, if, a lot you're, going on if you're looking for a certain theme, it's like it's probably somewhere on that face, somewhere. Now, now if you want an alarm clock, this is an alarm clock that I've had uh, for a long time. Uh, on the Mac, and then uh, he made an iPhone version of it, and then he made an iPad version. It, it's called Awaken. Now, where did I put it? This is you should search. Oh, I could just. You're a perfect candidate for look at searching. That. You know, when you have too many things, A W A K E N N Awaken. <laughs> No results. Way to go. You didn't even download it, did you? <laughs> I'm, it was here a second ago. All right. Poof. All right. Lost my app. Okay. <laughs> it was, I swear to God. What happened to Awaken? It's an alarm clock app um, that will play. And, you know, there's a lot of these in the app store. There's also a lot of these available for download for the Mac that play your iTunes playlist. Right. Because you don't want to wake up to an ugly music, you know, or a worse, an alarm sound. Oh, the alarm is the worst way to wake up. Yeah. In fact, I used to have, until a few years ago, I had an alarm clock tape player, a cassette player, because I had some, the, so once like an ocean theme thing that my oh, dad had given me, however, noises. many years ago. Again I, with the sounds. I know, with the sounds. But I used it because it was just this stupid way that I could at least be in control of the way that I woke up. So Awaken uh, is, you know, it's pretty much what you'd expect. It has a nice clock face, choice of clock faces. There's the flip clock that's kind of traditional. Um, the problem with a lot of these... You're actually looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look! <laughs> it looks just clock. like Sarah Lane. <laughs> there it is. Ready? You want it. I've ruined this show, haven't I? I have ruined <laughs> yeah. what was a perfectly yeah, good program. Good. Yeah. So it has a flip clock. Now, the problem with all of these, on the iPhone at least now you have multitasking because we still don't have multitasking on the iPad. You have to leave the app running if you want the alarm to go off, which is kind of, you know, but, but you go to bed. You, you probably will want to plug your iPad in so you don't drain the battery right. overnight. This dims. You could set the amount of dimming and so forth. So it doesn't it doesn't bug you, but it's a clock. It be, turns your iPad into a ginormous clock, which so will wake you up. If, as an alarm clock, it's not a big deal because you go, leave the app running, whatever. I'm not going to do anything else. But it's not a great clock the rest of the day or night or whenever you're up and doing other things. No, it's not like the Emerald Observatory. Yeah. Here's a, now, this is a pure alarm clock that I think is just fantastic. And I think uh, somebody like you, uh, with your penchant for strange noises. yes. And and you know and realistic noises might like this one. I hope I didn't erase this one by accident too. You know what I? Oh, I know what I did. What you put I, it in a? I synced. Uh... And I think I must have deleted some things, but I'm pretty sure I have this one. This one uses Tibetan bells. Oh, this is progressive, isn't it? Yeah, and I just you know what? I'll do another search. Do another search for progressive alarm clock. If I erase this, then I know that there are gremlins in here because I was just uh, I was just playing with this. Uh, well, you know, this is actually a, an issue when you've got multiple systems that you're plugging yeah, into. Yeah, that's the problem. Because then, and then iTunes will go, oh, are you sure? Well, so this is progressive here? Yeah. Now, you it, it, the, the alarm is Tibetan bowls, bells. So you have uh, a number of different choices. They're all they're all beautiful. Let me turn up the uh, volume. See here, we'll set this all the way, all the way up. And now, here's the cool thing. They all have different kind of, ca uh, you know, characteristics. But here's the beautiful thing with this. It starts, this is the one I use, by the way. I just love the sound of that. That's a good one. Yeah. So you set the alarm time, and then there are different patterns for wake up. So it starts at, at, at the alarm time. It starts at 7 a.m., ringing the bell at 5% volume. Ooh, just really, I got just it. Little it's bringing you slowly out of your And then slumber. 10 seconds later, it turns it up and I, to 10, then 15, then 20. Very gradually, over the period of a few minutes... The, the full cycle takes two minutes and ten seconds. It will get to 100% volume, which isn't even then very loud. Right. It's still it's And it'll still ring nice. every five seconds. But it's, it's, you know what? You feel like you're in a meditation chamber. And here's another nice thing. When the alarm goes off, if you want, it opens a dream journal. Oh, my gosh. So, so you, you add journal entry. You can. And then you write down what's. You can you gotta say. Because you've got to do it right then. Right then. Or it's gone. You can say, I dreamt I was in a Buddhist temple. And, I was waking up, to and the, the bell was ringing, or whatever, to the to the the tune of a monk. Yeah, 
So I, I kind of like this for the, uh, the Dream Journal. I really like it because, you know, I don't know about you, but some people really hate big, loud, annoying alarms. I do have to tell you, though. Who likes big, loud, annoying no, but, alarms? No, well, but if you, well, somebody like Colleen, our former engineer. She had a hard time couldn't hearing wake up. anything. Yeah. yeah. So this, has, this does have like a, what they call a, um, where is it? Sure wake, they call it. <laughs> where, like, where a gremlin will jump out of the oh, iPad and oh, shake you. Oh, you want to hear it? It is the most annoying. <laughs> Please. They say, turn warning, turn really? your volume down. Do this not play through headphones. This tone is very loud. It is. Oh, my gosh. It's annoying. It's like it makes you go, I don't want to wake up. But if you're the kind of person who needs that, it does have that. It will that, do that repeatedly. It will do that repeatedly. And jump it, out of bed, exactly. pull, or, you know, waving a hatchet over your head. Exactly. Because a, you think you're being attacked. A lot of different displays. Again, this one, like the other alarms, until we get multitasking on iPad, you have to keep it running. Um, I, you know, this is, there is an iPhone version of this. It is $1.99 for the uh, iPad version. It's called Progressive Alarm Clock. I mean, the dream journal part is... You kind of go, oh, that's silly. But it's actually a nice I like exercise. It. I was doing that for a while. I was waking up and writing down my dreams. And it was kind of fun because you really do remember. If You, if you, you have if to you, do it right away. It, and this is the warning. If you start doing this, you will start remembering your dreams. In my case, that was such a horror <laughs> that I started taking Ambien every night. You know, I do you take Ambien every night? No. Okay, I was going to say. Just joking Ooh. around, joking around. Um, but it's my excuse if you find me in your bed some night. Right, because it's you the slept ambient. walked, yeah. because it's the ambient. Yeah, that actually happened to me once. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on a plane. Oh, yeah. yeah, not good. Not good. But, uh, but yeah, you know what's weird is that you write down your dreams, and you go, this is kind of interesting, and then you read them 10 hours later, and it's like, <laughs> I am a really screwed up individual. Exactly. I don't want to do this anymore, <laughs> and I certainly don't want anyone to find this. Exactly, my point. <laughs> It's it's a little scary to know what you dream about. So Same are, company makes a, a Zen timer. If you do, do you meditate? Uh, I I have I, I've tried. I've dabbled. I have times, really bad attention span. Uh, where, where I meditate at the uh, at the beautiful uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it. I was so relaxed when I was there. Uh, uh, spirit place <laughs> in the woods. They have a little <laughs> Tibetan bowl. They ring to signal the end of the meditation, and right. that's what you would use for this. The same idea. You get the beautiful bong sound, and that means it's time to slowly. Maybe that's what you use. Maybe at the end of a little nap, a little midday nap. Yeah. You can just Zen timer yourself, yeah. kind of back to reality. And you know, I'm waiting for Paziz. Do you know about Paziz? I don't know about Paziz. What is it? Mm, I like Paziz. Like Pizzazz, but not. Um. Let me like see if pizza, I could... but with a Z? Yeah, kind of. I'm just <laughs> curious. They, they have a, a, a desktop app. And you could put this desktop app on... Uh, no, they don't yet have an iTunes uh, app. But you can download this application on your Mac or Windows. And what you do is you'll create uh, a dream. Uh -huh. Well, a, a, a soundtrack. It uses neuro-linguistic programming. It plays music in the background. It's for airplanes or anytime you want to take a short nap... It says now, and it has a strange Dutch kind of accent. Now you are going to sleep. So it's like hypnotizing you. Yeah. And it says things like when you wake up, you will feel as if the world is Yeah, I'd yours. like to try this because I um, have a really hard time taking naps. I have to sleep at night, and if I don't get enough sleep, I'm just kind of hating life. I can't just nap the if i got an hour. the problem with the nap you can't take an hour nap because then you're groggy, right? I, I can't take... I just can't even... It just doesn't work. I just lay there awake. But maybe I need to hypnotize myself with Paziz. I lo well, you know, I'm looking now. It's $60. It's a little pricey. 60 bones. But what it does is it lets If it'll make me take a nap, I might I, consider I, it. I have a copy. I'll make you a Paziz. Okay. See, and then what you do is you put it on your iPad. Am I going to listen to your voice? No. Okay, good. I asked them. I said, would you let me record my own Paziz tracks? They said, we are very happy. With, <laughs> with the Transylvanian who is recording our apps right now. <laughs> we went from Dutch to Romania. Yeah, I don't know. In three steps. <laughs> I'm going to play you. Before the show is over, I'll play you a Paziz. And, okay, uh, good. And you can hear it. And I'll fall asleep. And well, we'll, you could we'll just see hear how it works. You could just hear it. And, uh, and uh, I think we had a coupon code for a while for Paziz. Paziz, folks, I know you're watching. Uh, give us he some more codes, He writes to me all the time. And he says. Does he? Yeah, he says, in would you please. Oh, yeah, look, I do have Paziz on my, uh, on my computer. Oh, good. Well, here, I'll play some Paziz for you. Play it. Let's see if we can all take a little nap. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me, let me, okay, first I have to generate. Here's the Pazizzer. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> you closed your eyes. Okay, I'm going to make a new Paziz. Uh, oh, I don't have any. Oh, you know, I can't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm missing Paziz models. Modules. Oh, darn. Yeah. 
So I have to check for I Elsie. I have to do, but this is this is a, again a, a desktop a app. A is I'll, that was. I'll, I'll do this while we're talking. I will update the pizzizz. Okay. And I will make a pizzizz for you. Good. And then. I'd, I'd love to try it. You could hear it, and you put it on. It is an iPad app. I mean, it, you put it on any play, any player, iPod or iPhone yeah. or iPad, and uh, and it's and you set it for how long you want to nap. It has an alarm at the end to wake you up. I think I didn't know you had trouble uh, sleeping. sleeping. Oh I had my no gosh! Idea. I've been an insomniac for years, and it's gotten worse in the last couple of years. Oh, it's a real issue. Pieces. Yeah. All right. In fact, I I almost got a guy arrested yesterday because it's. Motorcycle alarm wouldn't go off. Anyway, that's another story. Were you trying to steal it and it wouldn't go off? No, it just wouldn't go off and I couldn't sleep. It started really early in the morning and kept going. Oh, and dear. Anyway, long story. It all worked out. We're, I, we're not really friends, but... We are now. We, we worked it out. <laughs> he didn't go to jail. But I wanted him to for a little while there. Uh, so Leo showed you Emerald Observatory, Awaken, and Progressive. Emerald Observatory, 99 cents, and the other two were 199, so very reasonable. But I thought that this would be a good opportunity to show our DIY of the week. This was sent in by Dan Morris, who said uh, he didn't know we were going to do alarm clock apps. So why do I keep saying clop? Cyclops apps. Alarm, alarm, clop. alarm clock Alarm clock apps. apps. I have a speech impediment. That's also getting worse as I get older. <laughs> really? What is your speech impediment? I don't just, I just slur my words. You can't I don't speak. know. Yeah, I just yeah. can't speak and my S's are strange. As a trained professional. You know what? I did I Invisalign think... and I think it's actually worsened my S's. Oh, because those are those braces moved. that the, you don't invisible... have them anymore though, right? No, but my teeth have shifted. Yeah, I mean, on purpose. I did it to myself. It would change your, uh, it would change your but vocal characters. But it's kind of, I have a, oh. my S's have, have gotten a little strange. So sorry, everybody. It's my not straight her teeth fault. are your loss. She, 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 she just talks funny. Yeah. That's all. Sarah. Stop so, up. Sarah, if you have a tip for us, we'd so love Dan, to see Well, it's Dan Morris's tip. He says, uh, I thought you might be interested in my iPad's bedside sleeping nook. <laughs> I quickly found a conveniently sized pre made wall. He's got, a, uh, he's got some pictures, too, if you yes. want to pull those up. Here they are. That looked easy to install. I was kind of shooting in the dark because I didn't have my iPad yet at the time, but luckily the size and the depth are perfect for horizontal he put a, or he vertical viewing. put a dock viewing. into it. Yeah. Shortly after getting my iPad, I thought I should build a dock connector so I so it could charge there overnight. So I just cut a hole and mounted a clock connector cable using Shugru. Now, have you heard of Shugru? Shugru. No, no. Yeah, Shugru. There's a link in the in the um, in our doc. It's like this. S U G R U. Yeah. Dot com. It, it's is is the website. It's like this sort of malleable material that can help um, seal oh, up little I've spaces. I've seen Shugru. Yeah, it's, I guess it's like a big, they, they almost market it as like DIY yeah, for they, hackers. their slogan is hack things better. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, this is what uh, Dan used just to, kind of around the dock. And he said, he mentions, listen, it's probably not recommended to paint this stuff, but I did. It looks pretty good. And there's his simple way to mount an iPad in a wall nook. Huh. Thanks, Dan. So he had the nook. So he what puts you the dock do, in with Sugaroo. You find one of the Sugaroo. the alarm clock apps that we've shown there you, you that go. you like the best, and now you've got an in the wall dock. If you're one of those people who who's got a little bit of wall space, see that's the perfect because it's right into a closet. It looks like was uh, where that where that wall goes perfect. into. So it's perfect, perfect. for perfect yeah. for Dan. Isn't that Depends neat? on your bedroom. That's our tip of the week. Yeah, and I love the DIY stuff. Correct me if in. I'm I'm wrong. Yes, Leo. But doesn't the? It's funny. The iPhone has a clock app with an alarm in it. For some reason, they yes. left that out of the iPad. I don't know why, because I actually use my iPhone it's as an bizarre. alarm every morning. Yeah, that's my. It's yeah. just easy. It's there. So this is why now I understand why people wanted this subject because it doesn't come with one. It is odd, isn't it? It is a little. I mean, I can understand. Here's yeah, a, oh, oh, oh. we didn't put a camera in Gen One, but I, why not the? Here's the, Awaken, by the, the way, just so you, just just for completeness' sake. Oh, that's the, what it looks the like. Awaken app. Yeah. So this is that. If you want uh, analog, you go with you go with Emerald. If you want straight. Straight digital, very Tron. Then you go with Awaken. Right, and you choose music from your iPad, uh, or your i, you know, your uh, your looking iPad playlist. Again. Am I looking at you? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm just gonna add some songs here for my. Uh, my I'm add some <laughs> <laughs> songs. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you tap and then it doesn't respond and then you tap again Absolutely and then it responds curtains? because it's. You don't like that? I don't know it. Pink Floyd. Oh, it's a Pink Floyd song. And Achilles' Last Stand. I like to wake up to Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin. Actually, I did wake up to Pink Floyd this morning. It was the strangest thing. I have a Pandora. No, that's a long story. Talk a about coming out of a dream in a weird state. No, it wasn't good. I have a Pandora station that has, it started with 
parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme, Simon and Garfunkel. And then all of a sudden it's going, Dong. and it was uh, Shine on You Crazy Diamond. And it was like, Shine. And I thought, I don't want to wake up to this. This isn't the same well, thing as Well, that song Simon also kind of, it kind of goes up and down on you. You know, it sort of starts low and yeah. then, ah! Yeah, ding, so. ding. So anyway, this play album art, shuffle music, all of that stuff. There's a flashlight. Why? <laughs> That's just part of the alarm you, clock. It just comes with it. For in no case good you reason. wake up in the middle of the night. Now you do. You can choose. You know uh, what display you want. Mm -hmm. If you go into the settings here, and they have different clocks. Oh, okay. So you're not stuck. They are mostly LCDs. I, I showed you the flip clock, which I really like. Uh, you might like this one. This is this is the eight bit clock. Okay. Oh well, yeah, that's <laughs> kind of fun. It's very Mario. Yeah, it's very you know? Mario. Uh, and uh, and then finally, and I think this is not. He's put every feature in the world. You can make this into a photo frame. So it will show pictures from, you know, you have to select pictures, but it'll show pictures uh, from... It's nice, but it's like photo frame, flashlight, plus alarm. It's, it's like everything it's, you'd it's like ever three want. three apps in one. It's everything you'd ever want. So there's my photo library. I just put some stuff in there for my photo library. You see like that? Yeah, it's like every, it's like the full thing. So if you want a basic alarm that does everything, Awaken, uh, I'm glad I could finally show this one. Yeah. That's a great, a, a great clock. App. Awaken, 199 199 For a lot of stuff. Yeah, and they have a, a Mac flashlight. version and they have an iPhone version as well. If you guys want links to all the apps we mentioned, you, of course, you know where to go, but I'll tell you anyway. iPad today at twit.tv slash IPT. That's also where you can watch past episodes if you've missed any of them. There was a week, uh, episode 12, where... With the episode went up late, so maybe you missed it. If you were looking for it on Friday night, didn't get up till Monday, go back and look at our past episodes or watch them again. I mean, they hold up very well. They age well. <laughs> uh, and, of course, you can subscribe. That's not at all self-serving. <laughs> I don't think. You could say that. <laughs> no. They age well. They age well. Yeah. Well, but you know why? Because we don't age in our past episodes. I've noticed you never we age. age. in reverse, actually. Well, we've only been doing episode it really. Episode one, we were much younger. When you only do a show for four months. <laughs> You shouldn't if we if you could if you could tell that we looked older after four months. Might be time to throw in the towel. Oh, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> it's a little too stressful. Oh man! iPad today. You is, know when Leo started iPad today, me. his hair was black, jet black. And now look at it. He's got it's the stress of creating well, the look show. Look at him. He's an ad man. He's wearing ties. You notice that? I'm 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 going for the John Hamm look. What do you think? You're you, it's like one and the same. I don't know who's who. Yeah, Don Draper. Where's your Don whiskey? Don Draper. I need a whiskey. Yeah. I have one actually. Uh me too. Right here. Uh, quick reminder, we, we do record iPad today, live every Thursday. Uh, we try to start for 1.30 p.m. Pacific, and we rarely make it. Well, but, I think we've never. <laughs> but we're I mean, usually sitting in the chair, at least fooling around and, and getting started at 1.30, so you can always join us then. And if you've got app ideas of your own, and, you know, like I said earlier, we do listen to you, and we want to do themes that uh, appeal to those of you, especially all of you alarm clock lovers, because you know you're out there. Shoot us an email at iPadToday at twit.tv. Questions, comments, everything. Love it. You know, in our chat room, and this is a great question. Eli asks, can yes, we Eli. wake up to Twit Live, to our audio? You know, we have an audio stream at twit.am of all the stuff. Oh. It's like a radio station. And I don't think yet we you can. Um, I do because I use my Sonos at home, and that's going to be set to uh, wake up to Twit Live. Mm -hmm. um, maybe there's a... I'll have to look and see. But, you know, we are going to... This is my plan. When we do the morning show, because we want to do a morning show, yeah. I will make sure that we have a morning show Twit app that will be an alarm clock app so that you have you your... Said clop. Clop. <laughs> you, you said clop. You said clop. I will have an clop. alarm clop app. <laughs> now I understand why you do yeah, that. There's yeah. too many P's in alarm yeah, clop. Yeah, it gets away from you. And uh, the P is silent. Right. Like, just like in my Quah. pool. The, when the um, when when the clock the clock app on the on the iPad or the iPhone or the iPod will go off, you you will hear us, which could be your worst nightmare or your happiest. Right, or your or your most wonderful wake up ever. And I could, and I could and you know what I could record special, maybe for the first people who buy this I will say you know record a special thing. You it could be your pizzizz. Yeah, I it's, could say it's. Have you heard the Jeeves, the no. Jeeves wake up clock? Uh, any relation to Ask Jeeves? Yeah. Well, no. It's uh, Jeeves the Butler. Isn't that who Ask Jeeves is? Or There's is a, that? This is a, no. It's different. Well, I guess it is ultimately. But yeah. it's all from the popular Butler named Jeeves. Yeah. Uh, it's from a company called Voco. It's called the Good Morning Sir Alarm Clock. They sell it on Think Geek. Okay. Let me just play a little bit. I'm it actually get tired of Jeeves waking me up every morning. It's well. It's kind of it's kind of silly to be honest with you. Here, okay. here's a little bit. Let's of hear it. Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry to disturb you, but it appears to be morning. 
very inconvenient, I agree. Oh, I get so sick of this. I believe it is the rotation of the earth that is to blame. <laughs> is he saying a new thing every day? He has, oh yes, he has a, a, okay. a, a vocabulary. I was going to say, Here's I don't know, I, Jeeves, get out of my room. How about this one? This one, oh, this dear. one. Come, come, let us not be defeated, sir. Let us seize the day and take it roughly from behind. As the colonel used to say. <laughs> now you would like to wake up to that, Maybe. wouldn't you? All right. You know, if you can make me laugh first exactly. thing in the morning. What a great way to when start. When I'm in my like, err, yeah. dinosaur triceratops, I'm going to. Are you one of those people who has to have a cup of coffee before you uh, face the day? Um, I sort of am. Sometimes it's tea, but yeah, I don't really feel like I've woken up until I have a cup of caffeine. I can't be responsible for anything I do before it, that's for sure. No. Which is nice, because I have that hour of, of solitude in my car, so that when I get here, I'm kind of a human. Um, you guys haven't seen the Triceratops. How about, how about this is one of them? just my... roared to herself. It is car. time to face the day. Shall I cancel your appointments and book a hotel for a month in the Seychelles? <laughs> Very good, sir. You know, Seychelles is sinking. No. It's not going to be around much longer. No. Dear. Even faster than Venice. There's another one. Little the world trivia. has been very anxious to hear from you for the last eight hours. Shall I inform the news agencies you're about to rise? I <laughs> just, I don't know. Okay, I get it. It's kind of funny. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? It's like Michael Caine waking me up. Yeah. It's kind it, of got Not that. so cockney, though. Not so cockney, but... Hello, Sarah. Well, you know, it's, it's, time it's to Michael get up. Caine and Batman. You know, yeah. he's like, he's at my service. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Arthur, when he's Arthur. Yeah, when he's Arthur. Yeah. We should move on. Uh, I think we should. <laughs> right, we got stuck here. Do we have an ad or something we need to yeah, do? Yeah, we do. In fact, it's Carbonite. Oh, well, let me tell you about it. I could tell, see, I could do this in my sleep. Yeah, I tell won't. me about Carbonite. I don't, I don't know. Darn I thing. won't, but I could. I'd because love I to. know so much about Carbonite. I'd, I'd love to I'd, know. I'd, I install it on every computer. Uh, Carbonite is backup for, uh, for not for your iPad, although you should be. Oh, God, I got the worst call on the radio show this week. Yeah. Guy um, had an iPhone, mm -hmm. and he had a lot of pictures on the iPhone, and it died. Mm. And I said, well, there's nothing to worry about, because you, when you connect it to iTunes, just like your iPad, it backs up everything, right? He said, yeah. I haven't connected to the computer for five months. Oh, no. There are pictures of my dog who recently died on Aww. here. It's the only place I have these pictures. And I couldn't help him. So there, we don't have a backup solution for your iPad, except that you should plug it in every few days just to make sure it's getting yes, backed up. Yes. And then if oh, you've got Carbonite installed on in your system, I know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring you down. No, it's fine. I just feel for him. Oh, I He's know. not the only one, though. I, it's people awful. Just oh, it happens, and they don't back up. And this yeah. is why I'm so big right. on Carbonite.com. Right. So Carbonite has a couple of features that you're going to like that are, I think are fairly important uh, when it comes to backing up. One is it's automated, so you don't have to think about it. It just does it. In mm -hmm. fact, if you go to Carbonite.com right now and sign up for their free trial, all you have to do is use uh, the coupon code iPad today, and uh, and you will get it for I think it's two weeks, and you can see it immediately starts backing up. You can configure the files, but it 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 makes its decision immediately and starts backing up onto the internet. Now, here's the beauty of Carbonite: you can of course restore it anytime, but you can go to any other computer. PC or Mac, log into your Carbonite account, and there's all your files. You can There's an iPhone app, which works fine on the iPad. There's a BlackBerry app that's free as well. Uh, so it will back you up automatically. You can get the data back at any time, and you can try it free for two weeks. Have I covered all the salient points? I think so. Go to Carbonite.com. Uh, use the coupon code iPad today. If you decide to buy, I should have mentioned this. Uh, and you use iPad today, you'll save two months. It's only 55 bucks a year, so you're going to save even more if you use the coupon code iPad today. I really invite you to try uh, Carbonite. And if you're not backing up, this is a very critical part of your backup solution. Carbonite, C-A-R-B-O-N-I-T-E, Carbonite.com. you got to back it up to get it back, so do it right with Carbonite. <laughs> oh, that was good. That uh, rhymes. Have like you it. done that before? Did once you or do twice. that just now? All right. Mm, yeah. Once or twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a lot, a lot of uh, iPad land-based news, not all of which we'll be able to get to today because we took a long time with Jeeves. And just Are you blaming me? Clocks. No, no, I'm blaming me uh, because I, you know. I blame myself. You're, you're you, yeah, you're, you're the whip cracker, but I'm the guy who's supposed to be taking the whip. You're, you're the untamed Mustang. I'm the untamed Mustang. That's right. And yeah. You, and, it's, and I'm and not a very good horse whisperer. Your job, your job to ride me, baby. <laughs> so Apple is gearing up to sell 
get this. I don't know if this is possible. They've, they expect to sell 12 million iPads this year. Okay. So that was what? April 1. Yeah. So out of eight months, 12 million, you go, okay, that's a yeah, lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. They think they, an analyst who's been interviewing the supply chain folks, so this is what Apple's buying up parts for, Right. another 45 million iPads in 2011. 12. 45 million, which turns into like, it's, a, it's however many billions of dollars in revenue, which is like, the entire revenue stream for all of Apple a couple it's, of years it's 30 ago. Thirty billion, which is it's actually if you if you look at Apple's, you know, over the last few years, that's 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 like the most success they've ever had. I mean, can anyone argue at this point that the iPad is not a great success? Because this is mm -hmm. pretty. I mean, that's again, these are estimated numbers, but if, yeah, if we they're don't hitting know anything, yet. we don't know yet. We we do think that Apple sold uh, uh, about four and a half million is doing about a million and a half a month. Uh, but Apple hasn't said lately, and usually, you know, Paul Thorat says, "Oh, Apple will tell you if they've sold that many." But I think they have. I, I really do. Right, forty-five million wow. iPads next year. It's a big year, selling well. Thirty billion dollars iPads alone. Amazing. Crazy town. Uh, also, this is not iPad-related news, but it's certainly interesting to us that the iPhone may be coming to Verizon. And now this is not just the same old rumor that you've been hearing for a million years. This is no, in fact, more your damning buddy, evidence than ever. Your buddy M.G. Sig uh, Sigler says this is probably believable. It comes from a very uh, connected source. It's the source that people believe Apple leaks through. I think this is an Apple leak. In fact, yeah. M.G. points out that the uh, original rumor wasn't anything new, so they updated it for the print version of the journal to be, you know, like Apple's really going to do this. Really, folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2011 for a Verizon iPhone. You know, at the same time as this got leaked, Verizon announced that it would be rolling out its new fourth-generation network, LTE, in Silicon Valley. So I suspect this is probably the case. The only thing that was kind of interesting about MG's article is that uh, Verizon has got hit the, the whole Vcast app store that it wants to bundle in with the phones that it rolls out. And, you know, Apple doesn't want any of that because they want everything to be in their own control. Right. You know, Apple knowing Apple needing Verizon, at least to get away from AT&T, do they bow down to something like that? I mean, would they allow something like Verizon to sell some crap apps that well, Verizon gets money not. for on the Vcast I certainly hope not, but it's one of the things I hate be... about my Droid X. I like Verizon. I can make phone calls yeah. with the Droid X, but it's got a bunch of apps I can't take off that are Verizon apps. Well, and it's for Apple. It would really be the tables turning because they yeah. they don't bow down to anybody, or uh -huh. they haven't so far. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So mm -hmm. uh, very interesting. You know what? You know what's great about this? What is it? My AT and T contract is up in December. Perfect timing. Two years. Would you go Verizon? Yeah, I would. Yeah. You know, I saw another interesting stat. About half a million iPad 3Gs have been activated out of the, say, four and a half million that have been sold. So he, he be yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, why? <sighs> well, why, it sounds like so? people aren't activating the 3G. They don't want to spend that 25 bucks a month for 15, I guess. Why'd they buy that. the 3G then? Now, maybe they're not buying the 3G or maybe they're buying it and realizing they don't want to activate it. Oh. And I think what happens is a lot of people get their Wi-Fi and say, Hey, that's all I need. I don't really need to pay 15 bucks a month for yeah, more access. Yeah, I guess so. Well, don't, it's do you there. ever use the 3G on your iPad? All the time. Yeah, me too. All the time. Me too. I mean, that's it's why I take it everywhere. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you're you're constrained to Wi-Fi networks, which are ab abundant depending on where you are, but not everywhere. Right. Quickly, uh, iPads and celebs. And by the way, before we get into this, you guys send all sorts of iPads spotted in the wild, celebrity editions, which are great. But sometimes you say things like. Hey, there was an iPad spotted on NCIS. Look it up. Google search. <laughs> Find it. No, you're supposed to send me the link, and then I thank you. That's Don't how you this know? works. We're lazy. <laughs> We're la well, I just, I actually did do a search for that, and I couldn't find anything. So give me proof, and I will reward you in blocks of gold. <laughs> well, you got a Kanye, you got a Kanye a West tweet. Kanye West. So this actually was sent in uh, by Tony from across the pond, and he was nice enough to censor uh, two tweets by Kanye that uh, referenced the iPad. The first was, where is it? I have it right here. The if you would like was, to refer to the screen, right? Why don't they make MacBooks? No, no, do it in the voice. I don't know Kanye. Well, I'm not going to do Kanye's <laughs> voice. It won't sound good. Hey, Taylor Swift. Excuse me, but. Why don't they make MacBooks that get online like the iPad? That's some bull beep, man. You got to do the beep. That's some bull beep, 
man. <laughs> You're not fast enough. So, well, let's do it again. You make a lousy beeper. Hey, why don't they make MacBooks that get online like the iPad? That's some bull, Beep. man. <laughs> I am mad. And then Kanye the says, man. Man, he likes to say man a lot. Man, yeah. Why is it so sexy to me when I see a girl pull out an iPad out of her purse? I don't know, Kanye. Wow. First of all, what does he mean by why don't they make MacBooks that get online like the iPad? I guess he means that sort of immediacy. 3G. Oh. Maybe Kanye is one of the people that use 3G. I thought maybe he meant like, it's like Safari always app or, or maybe that's something. Maybe that's right. It's, you you hey, never I'm, know with Kanye. I'm puzzled I mean, why like, he thinks it's sexy to see a girl pull an iPad out of her purse. I guess because it's sexy when I think somebody he thinks has it's, an iPad. I think he sees it's sexy to see a girl. I, I think and that then everything might else be after part that of it. Is like a girl, gravy. a purse, an iPad over the edge. It's just gravy, yeah. Right. Uh, also in our celebrity edition of iPad Spot in the Wild, uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves have a, uh, a, a strapping young man named Michael Beasley, Leo, and apparently he loves his iPad. And Phil Wilson uh, had proof, so he sent us in there a Facebook is. picture of, look look how happy he is. He's got his Powerade. He's got his iPad. Sure he's got his not friends. A Kindle? I guess he's so big, it looks like a Kindle. It looks like, does it? I think it looks like an iPad. Although it does have that sort of, it, it looks like it's it's just a, it's a sleeve. We're going to take it for your grant, take it for granted that that is an iPad. It sure looks like it in the edges there. It's an iPad. His hands are so big. That's an iPad. He's making an exactly. iPad it look looks like a Kindle. Like a, it looks like a, uh, a Galaxy Tab. Maybe you Gosh don't know, but it. that bottle of water, that's three gallons. <laughs> so you can't be a judge by, because these guys are, they're professional athletes. I bet Michael Beasley is taller than Jason Howell. <laughs> I don't know. Jason's pretty tall. Jason's pretty tall. He's a monster. I don't know if he's basketball tall, though. Uh, speaking of cases, really quick, Moleskin cases now available for pre-order on Amazon. So uh, people will think your iPad is actually one of those hipster notebooks. You know what's weird about this is that the iPad cases, I mean, if you're a Moleskin fan, then you're into this. There aren't any prices on Amazon right now, so I I'd love to know what they are before I get too excited. But they've also got iPhone 3G, 3GS cases, but no iPhone 4 cases. And it's like, I assume that they've been working on it for a while and the iPhone production just went too fast for them. But come on, you guys. Live in the be, now. It must be ex expensive. I would assume, yeah, the materials, but it takes a while to get through. I love how they have the, the, the phones docked and then actual writing materials. It's great. Yeah. For the iPad, it looks like the only way that you can get the notebook... Uh, if you I if you dock this. it the way they want, is on the right side. And as a left-hander, I would like that to be reversed. Yeah, we're both lefties. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you can just spin it around and get the same effects. But I do like the iPhone one. Look at that. This they is so do cute. look nice, don't they? Yeah, it's like a, it's yeah, a this wouldn't old be good for me. School. Oh, wait a minute though. It wouldn't be no because just turn it around. Well, but but what I'm saying is maybe it's docked a certain way. Like if you turn it around and then you hold it up, it might fall out because the the phone or the iPad is obviously supposed to. Uh, slip in a certain way, and it looks like that's need, the Are bottom. you one of those uh, weird iPad users that has to have your button in a particular orientation? I, I prefer mean, it to be on the right hand or the left are. hand side. Really? Yeah. So it would throw you if it were on the on the on the right. Kind of. Because I think I mean, the right I'd look, is. I'd look for it first. I think then... you're actually wrong because the the right is actually where it belongs. Wait a second. No, no, I'm serious. Look at that's you no, like I'm, it on the left. Yeah. No, no, you're wrong. Because well, look you're what's wrong. at the. No, you're wrong. In no. fact, I ask our audience to email us at iPad today at twit.tv yeah. and tell us that Sarah's wrong. Wait no, a look, second. I'll tell you why. Okay, if this look. is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> look, it's on the right. That way, these switches. Okay, is this turning the volume up? And that's turning it down, right? The you know way what? you've got it. I've always ha I've always been very perplexed by volume. Yeah, you up know is why? down and down is up. Yes. And that's why. Because you got it? it upside down. I thought I was just really dumb. Wow. Huh. I like my left hand or, or left think, side orientation. I, and you know what? I think what? you can't be the host of this show anymore. I think you need to tell me a little bit about Angry Birds. <laughs> All right? Ste hey, it's updated. I'm so excited. <laughs> Before we get an angry Sarah. <laughs> It's very exciting. Angry Birds has been updated. Now, we talked in, about and we showed you Angry Birds uh, a couple of weeks ago. It is a physics-based app like the other physics-based apps that we showed you a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but Angry Birds is just so much fun to shoot the birds and so forth. And it, please, as we record this, this update came out today. They've added 15. Now, see. There you go. Now, see. Wish you would have left-oriented, <laughs> don't you? A, wait a minute. Don't you, Laporte? Hold Wait on. Wait a minute. Vindication is mine. Wait a minute. It's, the birds are upside down. 
I think I deserve an apology. No, see the buttons on the right. Oh. I just had to shake it. So here's Angry Birds. And now we've got a whole new level of Angry Birds. And there's a Golden Egg soundboard in there. I don't see the uh, new level, but I guess it's in there. And there's a Golden Egg soundboard, and they've really updated the Angry Birds. So if you're an Angry Birds fan, there's nothing to be angry about today. There's only... 13 new levels. 13 new levels. That's great. Mm, or, yeah. Now, like are, have, had you exhausted all of your levels? Were you ready I for I did. I was ready for more? more. And I think anybody who's at all serious about Angry Birds, of course, is And there's finished. like millions of people who are serious about Angry Birds. Oh, more it's than a, millions. It's 15, it says in version 1442, uh, 15 tough new... Alarm clops. Oh, nice. Uh, an, an amazing new golden egg soundboard. And if you speak Chinese, Japanese, or something called e-figs, what language is e-figs? Um, it's like Esperanto, but shorter. More like Pig Latin. Maybe it's bird talk. I have no idea what I never e-figs heard it. is. Is that a I language? Never heard it. it's, it's apparently it's, it's, a, it's a language. I, we should, maybe we should uh, scrap our Spanish episode 15 and do it all in e-figs. <laughs> I've never heard of e figs. I think that might be a typo. You think Actually. that's a typo? Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's maybe the chat room. Uh, chat room. Is there such a language as e figs? E figs. English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. Thanks to the chat room, they oh! know. But I wish they'd spelled that out. Wow! I would never have never have thought that. never. Well, they're 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 quick on the uptake. Uh, a couple of emails from our viewers. First one is a little tip, and it's a good one. This one comes from Paula Bird, who says, Love the show. I might be one of the more responsible iPad users as I drive and listen to the audio show version only when driving rather than good. try to watch the video. <laughs> Do not watch the video. But for our, all of us audio listeners, would you mind spelling out the application names? Oh, that's because a good idea. Because we want to know stuff, and sometimes we don't, that's you know, because they're weird spellings. And Okay. I thought that it's that was a very good point. A-L-A-R-M. C L O P. Yes. Um, the other alarm clock that we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of mean. My friend Barb Sarlat, he does a, he does a uh, he does a bit where he says, I, "I wish I were a morning DJ because I would start talking like this. I would confuse people like their radio was mistuned, and, and then every once in a while he do this." And it was, Very nice. Yeah, alarm clock. Alarm clock. Awaken is spelled like awaken. Awaken. Emerald Observatory is spelled. Smelled. It smells good. Like E M E R A L D like observatory. And observing. And uh, what was the third one? I don't even remember. Progressive. Yeah. Like the I insurance. Think, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's hard. Uh, but going forward, Paula, uh, we, will. We, will, we will make sure to think of that uh, because that's a really good point. Because sometimes things are spelled a little bit weird, and we all know that searching in the uh, in the app store is a little weird all on its own. So we'll make it as easy as possible for our audio listeners because we don't ever want to leave you guys out. Even though we say watch the uh, the show in video because it's best, audio listeners should not feel left out at all. So thank you very much for the heads up on that. Second email from Sean Sieg, who, who says, go blue, go Wolverine. So I have to assume he went to Michigan. Uh, I'm so glad you covered fitness apps. This was uh, last week, episode 13. We did. I'm into my sixth week of a diet and exercise plan. I've been using the fitness app called Calorie Counter by Fat Secret. I it's use a Calorie app. Counter. Has a food diary, yep. exercise diary, diet calendar, and weight tracker. Sean is happy to report he's lost 35 pounds so far. That's really great. Actually, I don't know for sure that you're a he, Sean. I, I assumed that. S H A W N. It's more of eh, there are girls uh, named Sean. I can go both ways. So uh, yeah. what, uh, you know, don't don't want to assume anything. But thirty five pounds, man or woman, is quite an achievement. We have a video. Uh, this is of Sean working out and watching iPad today, and this is in response to me last week saying, "Well, isn't the iPad a little big to have at the gym with you?" And it's kind of cumbersome. And how does it all work? Oh no! I was actually referring to Sean. Um, being on free weights because then right. you have to have Carry everything next to you. I mean, not as machines usually have a little a little ledge where you can where you can. That fat secret isolate. program, by the way, I use that on the iPhone, and Do it's you? nice because it, they have a free website, fatsecret.com. Yeah, and it syncs. so it syncs to it, so you can enter data in a variety of different places. So that's actually a very good calorie counter. I should probably have mentioned that last week. I'm glad he found that. And uh, for our other video, uh, and this is a YouTube video, so it should work fine. Henrik. Henrik from Norway has a little tip for us. I think and it's he... a really easy one, and I can't believe we didn't know about it already. Did you know that you can take aluminum foil over a pen and then you start to draw on the iPad? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like a brush, too. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Isn't that cute? Yeah. 
He must be doing that in brushes, and he's drawing the Twit logo, which is very I sweet. know. Yeah. Henrik, you know how to win us over. You That's know, you could do sure. the same thing with... Thank you, Henrik. Thanks, you Henrik. could do the same thing with a, a sausage or a cheese stick. Does it have to have aluminum? No. That's the beauty of it. Apparently, anything moist. Uh, but aluminum isn't moist. No, but it's got to be conductive. So aluminum conducts your, water. Uh, your finger juice. I would much rather use aluminum than a cheese stick. Or actually, a, a sausage would be my, but my least favorite. But if you didn't have, if you were like, uh, you know. <laughs> if you were out of aluminum, but you had a sausage. Yeah, a sausage. <laughs> and we actually verified this one day on uh, Twit Live. So just so you know, I know it works. If I if I know we were going to do Hendrix tip, maybe next week I'll bring a cheese stick. Okay. And I'll demonstrate. All right. There's only one problem. What? Residue. Yes. It leaves something behind. Yes. Could be yeah. mozzarella, could be uh, Jimmy Dean. It's uh, it's cheese goo. Jimmy Dean juice. Jimmy Dean. Old Jimmy. Uh, reminder, we want to hear from you. You can always write us, iPad today at twit.tv. Leave us a voicemail, 757-504-IPAD. Or if you don't like iPad, it's 4723, 757-504-4723. Don't leave us a message if you don't like iPad today. No. Well, or, or, or just have a good reason why. Oh, we'll listen. It just, we won't play we'll, it. we'll laugh at you we'll mock unless you. it's a really good reason yeah. why you don't want to watch. But I, I bet you wouldn't call unless you were watching. So, ha, you we've have, got you. You have SaraLane.com. Yes. I have, uh, I do not have Leoville.com. Does someone else have Leo Laporte? Somebody else. Are they squatting or is it yeah, something? Yeah, no, I think they're squatting. Uh, that's a bummer. So uh, I, I think that it's really important when you're going to have a kid or if you, uh, I wish when the internet came along, because I was Leo Laporte before the internet, right? that I had registered, I had had the foresight to register my name. I have done that now with my kids. And uh, so abbylaporte.com and henrylaporte.com. And you know what I did? I used hover.com to do this. Oh. Do you know about hover? No. Tell me so, all about hover. So there are a number of domain registry companies. Mm-hmm. Um, how can I say this diplomatically? Some of them really, you know, you try to buy a domain and you have 80 clicks to get to the end of it because they're trying to upsell you. It's a you. mess. It's a mess. They're selling you a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Not Hover. Hover's been around for a long time. They're part of the Two Cows family. You may remember the name Domains Direct. That's Hover. They renamed it. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. You, you remember that? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I have moved, um, we're in the process of moving all our domains over there. A few of them are locked on that other place where they really... Don't like it if you transfer your domain away, and they're making it as hard as they can. So we're getting it all over there, and I love Hover.com. I've been really happy with it. They've got a great no-hold policy for customer service calls Monday through Friday, 9 to uh, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time during business hours. They won't put you on hold when you call. You'll get a live person, and you'll get what you want. I, I, I called that other company to do this transfer. Mm -hmm. I, got put, I timed it, eight minutes on hold. I, 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 it took me two minutes to get on. The customer service rep said, okay, hold on. He answered the phone, talked to me. I gave him an account number. He said, hold on. Put me on hold for three more minutes. Then I, I mean, I, I spent so much time on hold. I was it doesn't like, make for a happy customer. Well, that's why I'm transferring to Hover.com. I love Hover.com. Uh, for, uh, for your family name, for an email address, they don't do hosting now. They're not selling you on anything. They just do the domain registration. So I guess I should use Hover for, because I've got a baby name list. Perfect. For, for my non-existent babies. Are you pregnant? No, I'm not pregnant. I'm not planning to become pregnant, but I have a list. If it happens, I don't have to think about this it. This would be a good time to register those names. I'm going to register all of them. Yeah. Now you need to... I need to know what the last name will be, though. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> I guess I could just do Lane. Just do Lane. And just be and then, like that. And you'll be that, that person. I'll be that woman. You could do Dash Lane. And then, and then your name here. <laughs> yeah, that, I hadn't thought that far. Jimmy, your name, Jimmy, your name here. dot com. Yeah, that's probably available. It just, I, it just be like Jimmy the Kid. <laughs> Little Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. dot com. Sarah, Sarah's kid, Jimmy. There you go. He won't yeah, mind having yeah, that as a grown-up. Somebody would love to have that yeah. domain name for the rest of their life. When he's life. in business. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's, some, here's something you really don't want. <laughs> he went to Harvard. Yeah. Good kid. Hover.com. I tell you what, if you go to, um, actually, I'm going to get this code right. If you go to iPadToday.Hover.com, yep. you can uh, register uh, your new domain there and save 10% off the domain cost or get a new .me domain. This is another way to go. I, could, I, should, I think somebody already got LeoLaporte.me as well, but it's only $5 for the first year. iPadToday.Hover.com. I have had such a great, oh, and I should have done this. What? I, we're transferring like 30 domains over 
Tomover.com. Yeah. And nice. I started the process, and I'm doing it by hand. And then I see $25 will transfer all your domains, one to one to 10,000, as many domains as you want. 25 bucks will do it all for you. We'll do all the work for you. Perfect. Yeah. 25 bucks for 30 yeah. domains? I moved everything. That's for less... any number. Yeah. I'm moving everything over. Good. Hover. iPadToday.hover.com. Love it already. And Thanks, by the Hover. way, I did use the iPad Today in coupon code. Did you? <laughs> yeah, of course. Why not? Hey, there's no they don't way. ask you, is that you? Where's my app cap? I got mine. Here, you take mine. Okay. I'll go reach back here and get All one right. in the app cap store. We got a whole store back here. app cap on. Uh, crotchety old cap. All right. It's app cap time. It's app cap time. This is the time of the show where we uh, like to wear funny hats. Ooh, you're doing a different kind of a hat. I've decided to be Russian I today. feel like you should be eating kipper snacks or something <laughs> yes. while we do this. I am from Philly. I'm going to go through these quick because uh, TNT comes on right after us, and we're running over, as usual, as usual. and Tom gets, he, he's so insufferable You start with late. your, yours looks kind of funny. I thought it was a little odd. I saw a the sole of a shoe. Uh, Zappos.com is my app of the they week. They have an app? Yeah, they do. Uh, they've had an iPhone app for a while, but now they have an uh, enhanced iPad app. It's great. And the reason it's great is because, so I'll just use shoes as an example. That was what I was doing before. You're, you're one of those women who little... can't walk by a shoe store without going in. No, in you? fact, I've started to avoid them entirely because I'll just buy something. I, I, I can't window shop. I need to, I need to be Look at those. ignorant of everything. It's hard not to buy those shoes. So Zappos, as, as many of you may know, was, was originally known for shoes and yeah. it's become kind of, well, it's actually owned by Amazon now, but it's like Amazon in the way that it slowly expanded out into other things. So now there's clothing and makeup. I didn't know that. I stuff. still buy my shoes there. Yeah, it's it's a it's a shoe place. So let's say I want to go sneakers, and let's say I want some Converse. Those look nice. Sometimes you feel nervous about buying shoes online, but once you get a shoe that you know fits, then you can go right that's, back there. That's the key: is yep. that it has to be a brand that you already trust and you know, because brands do they run big or they right. run small. But Although if, they're very you know, like, good about returns, it's easy to return returns. something to Zappos. Are and you going to buy pink Keds? Well, those are Chuck Taylors. They're oh, sorry, Keds. They're Converse. I love them. They're actually really cute. They're cute. But what I You're like... You're going to buy them, aren't you? What I like about... Come on. Um, You're going to buy them, aren't well, you? I, I yeah, thought you about it a little bit. sneakers. What I like about um, the Zappos experience is that um, not... Uh, the, the web uh, experience is fine. It's good. But there's something about the iPad app that's, you know, there's like a tangible thing. You know, I feel like I'm more at a store. It's like I'm almost touching the I, stuff. I like this. This is better than the web. Which Look is, at that. It Look is. At that. There's something about, I, I feel like I'm going mm. through the racks, you mm. know, like I'm a shopaholic mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm feeding the beast kind of Beautiful. thing. Yeah. So, so you get the idea. I mean, it's a free app. So it's no, you don't have to, you know, you're not paying anything extra to, to not go through the store. It's a nice experience. Zappos is a good brand. People like it. The people who work at Zappos have a good philosophy. You know, if you're not familiar with the kind of Zappos I love experience. Tony. Well, yeah, we Tony. Weren't you there when we interviewed Tony Shea? No, no. On no. that night? No, I saw it, oh, but I, I wasn't love there. Tony. And no. he's just such a cool guy. And, you know, like I said, they've got more than app clothing, beauty, housewares, that sort of thing. So if you're a Zappos fan, you got to have this app because it's free. And if you're not a fan, then this is a great uh, time to try it out and, and see if you can't get something there that might be a little bit less than what you get in the stores or save yourself a trip to the mall. There wait, you have it, Leo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They had, it. Wait a minute. They had a shirt there that said Babe Magan. Oh, really? But I think they meant Babe the Blue Ox because it was like plaid lumberjack style. It was a Paul Bunyan shirt. Babe Magnet. <laughs> yeah. There. Oh. Look. Well, that is a Babe Magnet. It's like really? the lumberjack look. Yeah, very big right you now. You like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh. I do. Boy, I tell you on Get the your lumberjack shirt, boys. It's never, coming back. Never understand. Flannel's back. We're grunge. Girls today. I know. We're, we're a fickle Can bunch. I do too? I know we're running out of time, but <laughs> I have a very special hat. You can. And, uh, you know, we were talking about Angry Birds. There's a new um, game called Saving Private Sheep. Is that like Saving Private Ryan? Yeah, kind of, except okay. it's sheep. All right. And uh, you're saving sheep from uh, bad things. And it's, it's I have to say... Um, it is very, very, oh, and it's open faint, so I have to turn on the open faint here. But it is, uh, this is, by the way, this is, instead of Apple's uh, Game game Center, which you can't get yet on the, uh, on the iPad, mm -hmm. this is, uh, this is open faint, is very similar, and I like it. So, you, don't you love this? Look at this. You got it's just sheep. like a Spielberg movie. It's like, <laughs> you got sheep. You barely tell the difference. They're, you're going to save them from the farmer. They're one, such a wonderful land. It's even sheep black and, and white. Just, well, that's oh, an really old, gone the it's mile. the documentary, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh. Uh oh, we're gonna have to run because I hear that TNT has Veronica as a guest and she doesn't have much time. Oh, so that's one. Here's the other one, and, and I I found out about this from Robert Scoble, who was on Twitter on Sunday. Nice. He he was running a little late, so he sent us a tweet, and he said, 
Um, follow me on Glimpse. And that's G-L-Y-M-P-S-E. -S -E. Yeah, Glimpse spelled with a Y. This is so cool. It's a free application. You, down, you download it uh, and put it on your iPhone or your iPad. There is also an Android application of this. And once you, once you get it on your phone and you know you're going to be late to somewhere, you can send them a glimpse. So I could send it via email or phone. Oh, neat. Uh, I could say the duration of the glimpse so that people can't track you forever. You say, well, it's going to take me about an hour to get there, so I'll make the duration an hour. This is such a Scoble thing, isn't and it? You say what your destination kind of is, where you're headed to, and you can pick somebody on a map, pick somebody from your contacts, or they have some <laughs> random destinations like the Eiffel Tower. I'm on my way, mademoiselle. You can have a message, and then you send this out as a text. They get a link to the Glimpse website where they see you in real time on a map Ooh, nice. as you navigate to wherever you're going. So you just you have to choose uh, your followers wisely. It's not even a follower. It's a one-person deal. Oh, okay. So I'm late. Let's say I'm late to iPad today. I send you a text saying I'm, I'm on my way. And you can verify that by going to the Glimpse site with a link that you get in this in this thing. And you can see my car so as I get closer. So then you have to be careful about who you let know about Glimpse. Because if you say I'm on my way and you're not, then I'll know. You definitely don't want to. This is only to prove that this you're This is for way. truthful friends. Truthful friends. Yes. Uh, they do have Facebook, Twitter uh, support. So you can tweet it if you want. It's a really, I think, a really neat idea. The next time you're late... This is not a good look. <laughs> Next time you're late, <laughs> make sure. Well, the problem is, okay, this hat has ear flaps, but I also have earphones, and the flaps are sticking out because of the earphones. Yeah, I mean, you're just ridiculous all around, although I love all the bling. You got gold phones, gold mic. You're like a Russian mafia dude right I now. I am very, very wealthy. You need some kipper snacks, and you're good to go. I have in my uh, back of car, I have a whole case of vodka. Would you uh, like to share Glimpse is free, it so we've got two two for two on the free apps yep. for our app caps today for everybody who likes free things. And then saving private cheap if you want to spend money. <laughs> yeah, or that. So uh, we, we have an obligatory cat mention. Should we just roll that? Go ahead. We're so late as it is anyway. Uh, <laughs> Tucker not? the Cat. Screw him. We're already late. Tucker the Cat likes Mac Break Weekly, and uh, his human Steve in New Jersey has proof. Even in the United States, if you propose this as we've decided to, to release, at least. He's actually watching Mac Break Weekly, weekly yeah. and his eyes are glowing in a scary, devil like way. Well, he's a zombie cat, but he likes uh, Mac Break Weekly. <laughs> I think he likes Andy Anako's voice, yeah. is what it is. So there you go. Thank you. Obligatory cat mention. You'll always get on if you send me a video of your cat watching something on the Twitter network. Even if it's not if our show, it's just no. Mac Break Weekly. <laughs> she'll, she'll play Close it. Enough. She doesn't care. Mac. Uh, Mac Break Weekly is on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern if you want to put your cat in front of your iPad. It's a good show. Show. We That's do this show every Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 right. Eastern. Uh, that would be 20.30 UTC at live.twit.tv. Email us at iPad today at twit.tv. Sarah Lane. Leo the Port. We'll see you next time on, on iPad. iPad Today. Bye-bye. I'll pizziz you next week. Bye. Pizzizz. I have pizzizz. I'm pizzizzed here. Sad.